Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video you should be able to describe how Charles Darwin developed the theory of evolution by natural selection. You should then be able to describe why Darwin's theory was only gradually accepted. And finally you should be able to describe how Lamarck suggested that species change, and why Lamarck's theory is incorrect. And all of this is for triple biology students only. Now we've already looked at evolution by natural selection in a previous video. We looked at the example of rabbits. In this video we're looking at how the theory was developed. I'm showing you here a picture of the scientist Charles Darwin. In the 1800s Darwin took part in an expedition around the world, and he collected a vast number of different animals and plants. Darwin was fascinated by the huge variety of living organisms that he saw. He began to wonder how all of this variety developed. Darwin spent many years studying geology and fossils. These fossils showed that many species of animals and plants alive today are similar to extinct species. After many years of experimentation and discussion, Darwin began to develop his theory of evolution by natural selection. And again, it's really important that you learn this. Firstly, within a species we can see a wide range of genetic variation for any characteristic. For example, if we look at giraffes, we can see that some giraffes have got longer necks than others. Secondly, individuals with characteristics most suited to the environment are more likely to survive to breed successfully. In the case of giraffes, giraffes with longer necks can reach the most nutritious leaves at the top of trees. These giraffes are more likely to survive and breed than giraffes with shorter necks. And lastly, the characteristics that have enabled these individuals to survive are then passed on to the next generation. So in this case, the offspring of the giraffes could inherit a longer neck. Now in 1859, Darwin published his theory in a book called On the Origin of Species. Darwin's theory was extremely controversial and was only gradually accepted. You need to be able to explain why. At the time, a lot of people strongly believed that God made all of the animals and plants that lived on Earth. Darwin's theory challenged that idea. Secondly, at the time, many scientists felt that Darwin did not have enough evidence to back up his theory. And finally, people did not understand how characteristics are inherited. In fact, genetics was not understood until 50 years after Darwin's theory was published. Now, other scientists had also put forward their own theories on how species change over time. And one of these was Jean-Baptiste Lamarck. Lamarck suggested that when a characteristic is regularly used, it becomes more developed. This strengthened characteristic is then passed on to the offspring. Applying this idea to giraffes, every time a giraffe stretches to reach the top of a tree, its neck will grow slightly longer. The giraffe's offspring will then inherit this longer neck, and over many generations, giraffes have the neck length that we see today. Now Lamarck's theory has one big problem. We now know that in the vast majority of cases, changes that occur in an organism's lifetime cannot be passed on to offspring. So Lamarck's theory was incorrect, and scientists now accept that Darwin's theory of evolution by natural selection explains how species change. Remember you'll find plenty of questions on the theory of evolution in my revision workbook, and you can get that by clicking on the link above.